Hi, I'm going to show you how to manipulate our equilibrium expression. There are really three ways that we can do it, um, and it's all related to our chemical reactions. Uh, the first one is if we flip the reaction, and when I say flip, we write the products as reactants and the reactants as products. When you do that, so we flip products and reactants, really what we did is we reciprocated the equilibrium expression. So I have this written here that the new equilibrium expression is just the reciprocal of K1. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Here is my chemical equation. We've got carbon plus one half oxygen, you'll see oh, the equilibrium expression mm -hmm. for that is 4.6 times 10 to the 23. Well, let's flip it. I'm going to now write products as reactants, reactants as products. So remember um, how we write the equilibrium expression, product CO over reactants, car um, excuse me, not the carbon because it's solid, over the oxygen. Well now, check it out. The CO is the reactant, the carbon and the oxygen are the product. So now I'd write it just opposite, reciprocated. The oxygen raised to the one half divided by CO. Um, so the value of this equilibrium expression is going to be one over the original one. So one over 4.6 times 10 to the 23. And so this equilibrium constant will be 2.2 times 10 to the minus 24. Okay, that's the first manipulation. The second one is if we multiply or divide the reaction by some factor. So I'm going to use the example that we're going to multiply by a factor of two. I use the same equation. This carbon is just the uh, heat of formation of our carbon monoxide. What I'm going to do is multiply this through by a two. So we multiply everything by two. We get two, one, and two. Still the same ratio, I just multiplied by a two. Um, well, if we were to write the equilibrium expression, instead of having CO to the one power, it's CO squared, divided by, instead of one half, or oxygen raised to the one half, it's now oxygen raised to the one. Everything, um, the, because the coefficients all doubled, the exponents doubled. So notice how I write this. The K value um, for the new uh, reaction is going to be the original, whatever the factor is, becomes the exponent. I multiplied it by a factor of two, so I square the K, original K value, and that's going to give me my new equilibrium expression. So rule of thumb on that, whatever factor you use, whether you're multiplying or dividing, it becomes the exponent. You take the original equilibrium expression and raise it to that factor. Um, so if I take the K1 squared, 4.6 times 10 to the 23, wow, this is going to be 2.1 times 10 to the 47 for its new equilibrium expression. Now, just for posterity, what if I had divided by two? What if this was one half plus one fourth plus one half? Well, if I multiply by a factor of one half, then I would raise that equilibrium expression to one half. It would be to the power of one half. I would square root it. Okay, so there's your takeaway. Whatever the factor is, that's what you're going to um, raise the equilibrium expression to that exponent, that factor it will be the exponent. Okay, now our last one, third type of manipulation with an equilib equilibrium expression is going to be if you add reactions together. So we do this like in Hess's law. If you know the equilibrium expressions, you can actually find the equilibrium expression of the overall reaction, the sum of the reactions. And here's how you do it. You multiply the equilibrium expressions of the reactions that are added together. So um, I have this example. It's going to be the dissolution of silver chloride uh, its equilibrium is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10. And then uh, we have silver plus ammonia. It's going to give us this, this um, really cool um, coordination compound. And uh, its expression is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 7. Now when I add these reactants together, the silver ion will cancel since it's on the reactant product side. We end up with this overall reaction. So to find the equilibrium expression for that, K3 is what I'm calling it. I take these two um, equilibrium expressions that we had added the reactions, you multiply them. So it's K1 times K2. I did that down here. K3 will be 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 7. And you get 2.9 times 10 to the minus 3 for the new reaction, the reaction that we've added together. That will be its equilibrium expression. Now for this, you could actually write products over reactants. Um, and you'd be able to see how that math works out. It's um, a little bit of work doing that, so just trust me, you multiply equilibrium expressions when you add the uh, two reactions, okay? So three manipulations. 
You flip the reaction, reciprocate. If you multiply, divide by a reaction, um, um, by a factor for a reaction, that becomes the exponent on the original uh, equilibrium expression. And if you add two equations, multiply their equilibrium constants, and that will give you the new equilibrium constant for the new overall reaction, okay? Have a good day. If you need more help on equilibrium, look at the equilibrium playlist on Lean Think. Thanks.